just just didn't love it. And I really scratched my head and I wonder, where's God when you need him? Hi everyone, welcome back to day four of the Reading Rush. I can't believe it's day four already, like it's going by so fast. I love it. I mean, I'm, I'm so passionate about it and it's what I do Your passion all the time. Today, I don't have too much planned other than going for a walk a little bit later. So the plan this morning is to finish A Song Below Water, which is the audiobook that I'm currently listening to. I have about an hour left, just over an hour. I might even up the speed just to get through it a little bit faster. And then we'll come back and we'll start my next physical book, which is My Sister the Serial Killer. I also need to get better today at editing my vlog throughout the day because I keep leaving it to like the morning of. So I've been editing this morning and it's now half 11 because I like... I've been busy and so I need to get better at that because otherwise I lose a lot of the day. Make sure you let me know down below what you are currently reading, whether it's for the reading rush or otherwise. And yeah, I'm gonna go finish a song below water. Hopefully it will not take me too long. I'm enjoying it, but like I feel like I've hit a bit of a point with it where I'm just still not fully connected to the storyline. I'm still not fully understanding, I guess the nuances of the story. And I think some of that is down to me. And so I feel, harsh I feel really harsh giving it a three which I think I think it'll probably be about a 3.5 but a three is still a good rating I just finished A Song Below Water and I'm actually disappointed. I ended up liking the book less and less as it went along because I kept waiting for world building that never came. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm joking, joking out. out. Bye. I'm gonna give it three stars because uh, I think there were a lot of good points to it. I, like I loved the sisterly relationship as I said yesterday. I loved how it dealt with themes. Like I thought its themes were really strong of racism, sexism, self-discovery. But the plot and the world was never convincing to me. You know, like we had these kind of magical entities that people were able to be like sirens. And there were other things that existed like gargoyles and like sprites. But then there were other mythical creatures which never could exist. Duh. <laughs> that just that inconsistency. I didn't like it. I, I was confused throughout the whole thing. I have I could not tell you what happened at the end. I have no clue. Like I really was just I was doing other things while I was listening to the end of that book. I just wanted to get through it. I often like it when a book doesn't explain everything to me. Like I don't have to have the world building served up on a plate to me. However, I just think it, it was just there was just something missing. I think it was a really ambitious book and I just wanted more of like the sirens I don't really know much about sirens I felt like they kind of had like three traits that we knew and that was it just just didn't love it and I really scratched my head and I wonder where's God when you need him just didn't love it and not something I would like super duper recommend and it's a shame because I think it had a lot of potential in that great familial relationship and like I said, the themes were tackled really well. And it was a really interesting allegory for like black women in our society now. However, I just feel like the story itself and the plot itself never took off. It was a great idea, but it was never like fully actualized in the way that I wanted it to be. I am now, hang on one sec. <laughs> I'm off <laughs> to Grammatica. I'm gonna start My Sister the Serial Killer, which like I said, is my last physical book for this readathon. I'm actually already 13 pages in. So I don't know how far I'm gonna aim to get through this today. I think it'll be a really, really fast read. I don't think I'm gonna aim to finish it. Also, it's 10 years of One Direction today. And if you know me, you know, I loved One Direction so dearly when they were together. I was, the, I was obsessed with them. I interviewed them on TV. Let's not speak about it. We don't need to go into that again. Hey. Hello. Hi. Oh my <laughs> no one's done it better than them. Like they are still the best in their field. There is a video of some sort coming out at 4 p.m. today, so I'm gonna film my reaction to that. I'm so oh my god, I can't wait. <laughs> my favorite for many years was Nile, from like the beginning to almost right at the end, and then I switched to Harry, and Harry is now my favorite. 
that's just the way God works. I feel like I need to listen to some One Direction music in a sec to like get myself ready. <laughs> Taylor Swift is apparently releasing a folk album. Like what the fuck? I loved Taylor Swift when I was 10. When she was country, oh my God, Last Kiss. Her mind. Oh my god, mate, that song. I still remember envisaging that being my life. The song Last Kiss, my god. I would sit there in the car, like, head out the window, all sad, like, God, Taylor, sing it to me. <laughs> We're being treated, what the fuck? And Demi Lovato is engaged, aka my favorite. Miley Cyrus and Demi Lovato, queens of my childhood. So, like, the nostalgia is coming back today. <laughs> And yeah, I'm gonna go start this. Oh, also I forgot to mention that A Song Below Water fulfills the prompt of the first book you touch. So I've now fulfilled five of the prompts. <laughs> I'm so happy. So yeah, I just forgot to say that. I'm just sitting down to watch the One Direction <laughs> video, whatever this is. So it's two minutes away. I'm nervous. Like, what is this gonna be? So it says music video by One Direction performing 10 years of One Direction. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't think it, I don't think it'll be anything like a new song. I don't think they love us that much. <laughs> Honey, you've got a big storm coming. I'm suddenly 13 again. <laughs> oh, they're so young. I didn't get to go to the first um, tour and I'll forever be salty about it. Take Me Home, arguably best era, in my opinion. They were so young. When you think about it, they were so young. Great tour. Outstanding tour. Best tour. My God. The vibes when you were in there, like, never... No, one's, no one else has ever achieved that. Oh my God, this is taking me back. So that was emotional, but like, come on, at least give us a fucking Skype thing. The first tweet when I got on the hashtag is bitch, that's it. We've seen all this before. Like I've literally seen that whole thing before. Okay, I'm glad people agree with me. That was bullshit. <laughs> Listen, I know I cried. <laughs> you could have given us more. I'm just gonna stand in the middle of the road. And if a car comes, I ain't gonna move. I am now about 70 pages into My Sister the Serial Killer. I am enjoying it so far. So I'm about a third of the way in. I thought I would check in every third. And we've only kind of just set up everything. So essentially our main character's sister keeps killing guys and she's killed three so far. And the protagonist is like, well, at this point, you're a serial killer. You've killed three men. At that point, they call you a serial killer. It's, so far, it's kind of just about their dynamic. Her sister is definitely someone who goes through life thinking she can get whatever she wants. She can have whoever she wants and do whatever she wants. Her sister always says that it was in self-defense how she acted and she doesn't want to doubt her sister. Like She doesn't want to say her sister's lying in that kind of frame, but she's also like, listen, I'm clearing up all of your mess. And now her sister is starting to talk to the guy she fancies like the guy she loves and she's like oh shit oh shit no 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 <laughs> you're not gonna kill him not on my watch not on my watch oh by the way this is for the prompt of read a book set in a different continent this is set in nigeria it's very funny actually like the humor in this i think is gonna be something i enjoy that kind of like dark humor i love like dark humor in books sarcasm i feel like the writing is very assured especially after reading a song below water this morning which just the further I got in into that, I was the more fed up I was. This is very, it knows what it's doing. I have complete faith in it. 
and what it's doing. So I'm hoping to read another 70 pages tonight in between editing. Actually, while we're here, the Reading Rush literally just posted a uh, Reading Rush this or that. Twitter sprint or reading on your own. Usually I love the Twitter sprints, but I haven't participated in any of them <laughs> so far yet. It's just been hard to coordinate them with when I've actually been reading. Um, I tend to get more of my reading done in the mornings and they're not usually running then because I'm in the UK and they're kind of based off US times. I wish there were more running in UK mornings. Like, I don't see why there shouldn't be. Hit me up next time. <laughs> I can do them in the morning over here. Is that one of your biggest wishes? really participated in any of them yet which is sad because I did loads of them last year going with the flow or trying to do all the challenges trying to do all the challenges without a shadow of the doubt updating your page count daily or you keep forgetting to I haven't done that yet <laughs> hopefully tonight or maybe tomorrow morning I'll go and update the first four days because at least I've got the track from the videos because I'm doing my page count in the videos so I suppose I am updating my page count daily I'm gonna circle both <laughs> vlogging it obviously keep changing your tbr or sticking to it i've stuck to it so far i'm just gonna have to add to it because we've done so well watching reading rush content or actually reading a bit of both i haven't watched as much as i want to a lot of it sitting in my watch later just because it's so hard to keep up to date with it all as well as read and as well as taking the pictures and posting the vlogs and editing like it's hard so i'll be watching a lot more afterwards but i have been watching it so that's my this or that <laughs> i hope you had fun Definitely, I thought it was fun. I like the beat. So. I haven't read any more. <laughs> um, yeah, I ain't read any more. I'm, I'm not, and I'm not going to. So this is just me saying goodnight. <laughs> I didn't get as much reading done as I wanted to today, but we did hit a thousand pages today, which I know I hit that this morning. So I should have recognized it this morning, but I only realized now, I only remembered that we hit a thousand pages now, which I'm happy with. Like in four days, I think that's pretty good. Tomorrow, we're gonna be going blackberry picking to make blackberry crumble. And yeah, hopefully it'll be cute. So that's the plans for tomorrow. Read a lot, get up early, 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 and love ourselves. <laughs> I hope you're doing good. Let me know down below how it's going so far for you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.